Hello everyone. Today we are going to work on this cancel throw-in mechanism. The cancel throw when we are going to throw a grenade, we get press left mouse button to cancel. So if I press left mouse button, the character stops trying to throw the grenade. So similarly, it works for throwing rock as well. If I press left mouse button, the character stops throwing the rock. If I just release the button without pressing left mouse button, character will just throw it. Alright, so let's see how to implement this today. So at the moment, if I am going to throw a rock or a grenade, so once I get it, there is no going back. I have to release the button so the character will throw it. So what I want to do is put in uh, another button. For example, when I when I'm aiming to throw a rock or grenade, I should get a notification in the middle of the screen. Press left mouse to cancel. So right. So how can we implement that? So in the hard we have already implemented a function to show player tips this one show tip so here we can get uh, uh, we can put anything in the middle of the screen with a timeout uh, press this button to cancel throw it so also we have this uh, input markup to give a different color to input keys so and also we can get input key the relevant input key using this get input function of the player controller that i have implemented through cln bpi player controller so all those things are already worked on so i'm simply going to use the same things to implement our cancel throw in button notification so in the inputs uh, i'm going to use left mouse to cancel throw in so for that left mouse is fire input so when we are going to throw a grenade that happens in the ALS base class. Both grenade or rock. Both should I should be able to cancel both of them. So we should show the notification only when we have spawned a grenade. So when this happens, we can put a notification uh, same as here. We can hit the controller, hit hard. Oh, hard. Can use this. Tip. and the tip should be press this button uh, to cancel throw it press whatever the button we need to cancel throw it so how do we get that button let me create the tip with an append press we have to use this input markup to say the next part I am going to insert is a key name just like we have done here in the gun and we have to end that here so cancel 
Now here we need the fire key. We can get the fire key from the player controller just like here. Get input. get press to cancel right that means we have a problem player controller oh we have a list player controller uh, that's the problem oh wait actually I implemented that in the a list player controller as well yeah here we have the get input Right. Actually, the reason is here I am checking this is active input device. Here I check if this is a keyboard key. But in this case, this is actually a mouse button. So the reason I have implemented this uh, this is active input device and to get check if it is only a keyboard key is at the moment I haven't set up the game for gamepad so it's only supports keyboard and mouse so can we check mouse button yeah this one so let's do an O here so now it should be fine press left mouse button to cancel now we get the message but when I press left mouse button nothing happens so that's the next part so where have I implemented file not here then it should be here protection fire right right so here we need to check if we are trying to throw something if yes we should cancel it here but we still don't have a cancel throw function so let's add one and here throw rock, throw grenade. Let's define a custom mewit and so throw it. So first we need to check if we have a throwable object. If yes, oh, this is grenade and actor. So let me rename this instead of grenade throwable. I hope that won't make any changes. Okay. No. Is if valid, we can destroy it. And then we can stop. Uh, we should stop the throw-in animation montage 
not just any montage so this should happen regardless of what we have here also we need to check if we are trying to throw in as well if throw in is true false then there is nothing we have to cancel So we need to mark throw in as false. As well. Um, right. And the next thing is in the fire event. By this here we can call cancel throw in so we should use it for the this event as well so this is the event the used by NPC characters to shoot Let's check. Going to throw a grenade. If I press left mouse button, it is cancelled. So once throw in is cancelled, I think it would be better if I hide the tip as well. If I have a tip, and to do that, I think I can just get player. Controller Hit Hot Show Tip. We can call Show Tip with the blank message. That should work. Let's see. So now I can cancel throw in any time. Wait, we forgot to check one more thing, and that is what if I already have the gun in the hand when I'm trying to throw? See, cancelled, but again shoot. So that's that may not be the ideal way to do that so what we can do is uh, in the cancel throwing I check if we are trying to throw something so this check is already here but it may not hurt to check that in this part as well so we can have a branch oh, let me collapse this here we can have a branch and check if we are trying to throw anything if this is true we should cancel throw in otherwise we can just proceed this way right now it should be your file let's see it still wait this should not be connected to the output so 
sorry about that see it is cancelled I'm going back to the admin mode when I press left mouse button okay so now it is fully working and here we can stop this episode and thanks for watching as always project files will be available for the download in the patreon page link could be in the description below and if you like to support my work you can get the membership of the patreon club see you in another episode goodbye